Hey everybody, welcome to the beautiful Judean Hills. I am still here on IDF duty and I want to give you the update about the terrorist who murdered Ari Fold. All right, you guys got to know, there is one great punishment that can help make a huge dent in the terrorism against us. There's one great punishment and it's a simple one, expulsion. You expel the family of the terrorist. It's that simple. Expel the family of the terrorist. And it shouldn't be terrorists that commit crimes. Any terrorist involved in terrorism, connected to terrorism, inciting terrorism, supporting terrorism, anything, the whole family is expelled. Expelled. Get them out of here. Why is that such a successful punishment to make a big dent in terrorism because it's understanding the Arab Muslim mentality we are up against. You got to understand something, folks. I'm not a big fan of the death penalty. Why am I not? Let it happen. Yeah, let it be a death penalty. But I'm not a big fan. It's not a big deterrent. Why? Folks, when a terrorist it goes, goes out to murder an innocent Jew, he expects to be killed. He expects to be killed. He wants the money. He gets money. The Palestinian Authority pays his family, pays him for killing innocent Jews. He expects to be killed. He gets more money if he's killed. So a death penalty for a terrorist is not a deterrence. The second a terrorist decides to go do a terror attack, he expects to be killed. So what's a death penalty going to do? It's not going to deter. Then we have the, the destroying the terrorist's home. Folks, today, in today, if you destroy a terrorist home, do you know what the legal establishment makes sure? It makes sure that the home isn't destroyed, just the bedroom or just the rooms of that terrorist because according to today's legal minds, it is immoral for, for the state to take away personal belongings or a home of family members who are not connected to that terror attack. So only the bedroom of that terrorist is destroyed or the floor of that terrorist is destroyed. What, what does that do? What message does that give? And then on top of that, the Palestinian Authority gives money to rebuild the room or the home that is destroyed. So destroying a home doesn't really make such a deterrence either, even though it's a small deterrence. But expelling the family? That understands the Arab Muslim mentality. The Arab Muslim mentality is tribal. It's clan. They want to be part of their people. They want to be part of their tribe. They want to be part of their clan, of their family. You removing them from their clan, that's like a, that's like a real death sentence. They're more afraid of that than the actual death sentence. When one of them dies, they become a martyr. But being kicked out and taken away and expelled from your family, from your clan, that hurts big time. Losing your home, losing your land, being disconnected from your family, that is the biggest punishment that can happen to this clan, clan tribal mentality. So that is the punishment we should be asking for. That is the punishment that today, just yet, just today or yesterday, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu came out to, in support of the expulsion of terrorists' families. Now you have to understand, folks, this isn't going to happen tomorrow because Israel's legal establishment is against this as well. Obviously, if you can't destroy a house because, oh my God, the, the, the people in the house, their personal belongings are above the law, then creating a deterrence to killing innocent Jews, right? That's what the legal establishment. They, it's immoral to destroy someone's property, but it's moral to not enforce laws and punishments that will stop terrorism of murdering innocent Jews. That's the immorality of the legal establishment. I'm sorry, it's immoral. The most moral thing to do is to expel the terrorists' families because that ensures bringing a stop to the terrorism and to the murders so that there are very, it lowers the amount of murders and terror attacks because they know they will be expelled. So therefore, they don't want to be expelled. They don't want to lose their land. They don't want to lose their homes. That will deter terrorism. Therefore, that is the most moral thing to do. That is the message we have to get out to the legal establishment and to allow for the changes to happen so that no more terror takes place and that we could truly achieve peaceful living here because every family that has terrorists within it, well, they will either be gone 
or no one will want to be involved in terrorism anymore. We want Ari Fold to be one of the last victims of terror. One of the last. And one of the things necessary to get across is finally this law to have the families of terrorists expelled. We don't want any more murders. We don't want any more terror. The moral thing to do is to come up with the laws that will stop the terror. And it's immoral to use the, the rights of the individual for property to stop the moral laws to stop the terror. So help us get this message out there, folks. This is our homeland. This is what Ari lived for. This is what Ari's family continues to live for. This is what Ari's legacy is about. This is what every Jew should be dreaming to achieve. Living here, not just dying here, but living here and defending. Living here and defending, because that's life. It's not always safe. It's not always easy. There are challenges. There are evils out there. We have to live here and we have to be ready to stand up and defend our people and our country proudly. That's what Ari stood for. That's what I stood for. And that's hopefully what each and every one of you stands for. Help get the message out there, folks. Shalom from the beautiful, amazing, ancestral homeland of the Jewish people. Love you all. If you're not here yet, come home. Shalom. Signing off. And keep Ari's memory alive, keep Ari's legacy alive, and let's grow the exposure for the law to expel terrorists' family, and not just terrorists, anyone connected to terror. Out of here. Back to work.